What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial, Tanjiro Zenitsu Inosuke Nezuko from the end of Entertainment District arc. Let's just get right into it, it's pretty complicated, so four characters, kind of some heads chopped off, like you can already see Nezuko's eyes, but pretty complicated because there's so many lines, right, so let's just get going. I'm on landscape paper, use pencil and eraser, sketch it out lightly first and then you can always do ink on top afterwards i wouldn't recommend drawing with ink straight out pencil first and then hit pause if i go too fast or hit pause when i move my hand right so we're going to start with the closest person to the viewer to us which is zenitsu over here then we'll work backwards so we'll do zenitsu tanjiro inosuke and nezuko because she's like furthest Back. like everyone there the three heads are above her head like in the frame so let's start with Zenitsu go so we're gonna start with nose so we're just gonna start with this sort of L sort of shape that curves out like so and around here it's kind of like a letter L or like a seven you know like a number seven upside down and then his brow will go this way, so we kind of turn it into a Z, just there. And then this will come down for his lip, like so. And we'll add a nostril, just here. So, general shape for the profile of his face. Once you know where his brow is, we can add his eyebrow. So his brow is here, right? And his eyebrow is just beside it, so it goes... That's why your eyebrow is called your eyebrow, because it's beside your eye. So we'll go up. So the Z's at the edge of his eye. And then curving up that way. And then he has texture lines on his eyebrows here. And then his eye underneath will just do a sort of a curved line going this way because he's their eyes are closed they're all crying and sad and stuff so a line like that and then you're going to thicken this up just to add some thickness to the eyelid right kind of th things like that and then there's an eyelid line just up here and crying big tears right so like really ridiculously big tears and they're sort of just these sort of bubbles coming out of his eye sort of going down his face kind of thing and then he could have some scratches on his face there So his mouth, so this is his top lip, right? And this kind of curves back in, in towards his mouth, right? So you have a couple of changes of direction there. One, two, three, okay? And then his mouth curves around real big because he's clenching his teeth. And this will go out towards his bottom lip like that. And then a teeth line just there. And then a line for his teeth coming across. Then his bottom lip curves around. And his chin comes down around to there. He has a shadow underneath his bottom lip just there as well. So the hair, his fringe comes across. We can't see his jaw because Tanjiro's hand, right? So we'll just do his hair back of his head and then we'll do Tanjiro's hand coming across this way. So his hair, so square fringe lines, right? It's kind of like, an, again, letter L here and then another one here. And then we finish it into a sort of a box like shape that goes up his head there. And then you can see some of his forehead there and then some more hair spikes coming down this way. Like so. 
there's texture lines on all these, but we'll just get the main shapes in first. So another box going that way. Like that. And we just kind of keep going. Adding these boxes coming down his head. And it kind of curves around his eye, you see that? These box-like shapes. Another one here. This one goes over his ear. And then another one, the last one at the back. And then we have texture lines on all these. So you're just adding these lines that follow the shape of the hair. Right. And I've seen these done lots of different ways. So, you know, you can change it if you want. Even the animators do it different. So his ear comes out here. So we just do a curve line coming out like so. And then this goes in. And then the jaw sort of comes down. And it, his jaw sort of disappears somewhere in behind Tanjiro's finger, sort of like. Goes down there, right? So there's a gap here because there's a finger. You could finish it if you want, but there's no point because you just have to raise it. And then his ear lines cartilage and things inside the ear bumps like this and he's got a cut on his face right there and there's all blood coming down all right like so So then the rest of his head, we'll go back up here and we'll go diagonal this way. Lots of angles in his hair. Up, down, weep, weep, oh, oh, there's like a blood stain, that's what. So there's like a, just a blob of blood sort of on his head, just here. And it is drawn in, it has a black line around it. So we'll draw that in. And then this bow, so you got the center of it right here beside the stain sort of a blood. And then comes out because for some reason <laughs> Zenitsu stayed in his costume as a female, <laughs> which is hilarious. <laughs> like that. Then the other side of the bow curves out and around a little line in the middle. So top of his head kind of goes this way. And then he's got like pieces of hair, square pieces of hair sticking up here because his hair is tied in like pigtail kind of things to make him look like a girl. Right, that, this comes out. Down. Up to there, and then you'll add your texture again. Back of his head curves around. Boom. To there. And then we have square pieces of hair sticking down the bottom. So like just these kind of L shapes. Do like an L. Another L. Another one here. Like so. And then more hair texture. Now remember if I go too fast, just pause. So just adding some round texture here now, going down his head. So then, as I said, Tanjiro's head just comes across here and I'll fit in as much of it as I can, right? So his hand, so say what we'll do his wrist. So like his curved line for his shirt where his wrist comes out is here. All right, so the top of his hand then, like so. And then we've got like a knuckle here. Comes out to there. Then another knuckle. So your finger 
has three knuckles. One, two, three. Okay. One where the hand meets, one there, one there, and three segments. One, two, three. Okay. So one knuckle, two, second one here. Right. Third knuckle here. One, two, three. And you change direction each time. One, two, three. And so his finger just curves around the top there. And then we do three more fingers, same way. So we'll go one, two, three. Finger curves around, right? And then another one here, one, two, three, right? And the, the, there's a bigger gap here so we can see the inside of the finger. One, two, three, okay? Three segments to your finger. It's like a sausage that kind of gets skinnier as it goes to the top in these three sections, okay? And then other side of the finger, one, two, three. And then his little finger, one, two, three. Just goes down off my page. And then it'll come back in up here somewhere, one. You can only see like two segments. And then the bottom of his hand goes off into his wrist, like so. And then we need to add, you don't need to, but I would recommend adding sort of knuckle lines and things like that. So. Say like up here, these kind of things. Just makes it look more like a hand, you know, these kind of things like that. And then, you know, maybe some on his knuckles and he has real calloused hands from using his sword. It's a nice detail they put into Tanjiro. You know, he's got all these scrapes and stuff on his hand just from all his hard work like me <laughs> and then fingernails like that and of course like in demon slayer every now and then they thicken up edge lines and things and that's an optional step but Senetsu's shoulder just goes down that way. And you have one of those white triangles there, one here. And then the rest of Tanjiro's sleeve goes that way. And the rest of the white section goes in there. And then we have the dark section of his suit. Like that, and then Zenitsu, the back of Zenitsu's collar goes off that way. The other side of it, somewhere there, and there's a triangle there. And then Tanjiro's shoulder goes down here. So that's pretty much Zenitsu. We'll do Tanjiro now, right? So to get sort of the face in the right position, we're just going to draw the shape for the face. Normally I'd start with the eyes, but because it's in behind, I just want to get the head in the right position, right? So his chin just comes down here. Right, this kind of V, curvy V. And this like gradually curves up, so it's difficult to get the shape, but we'll curve it up like that, okay? And that's basically the shape for all of Tanjiro's face that we can see, apart from his forehead, right? So we'll keep going. So we'll go, we'll get his forehead in. So we'll just go around like this. So it's, we're drawing sort of his hair kind of now. And then when we get up here, we meet this kind of V. So like V's down and up. And then we have these zigzags that come across his head. Right, and then down for his hair. There. 
So that's generally the shape for his head, right? So then down here, about halfway down, roughly. Right, so here, here, nearly halfway down, we can see his closed eyes, right? So we have one closed eye here. And then another over here. So we just do the curved line maybe first. Right, like that. And then we'll thicken these up. add sometimes demon slayer has these extra sort of eyelid lines coming off do the same thing over here right, like so and then we have some eyelid lines so like a line like that Another one, say, there. His nose, just down here. So we can see just like some hatching on the side of his nose, just there. And then a line, a sort of a curved line like that for the tip of his nose. And then there's a nostril there. And then his mouth. So he's real happy, so he's smiling. Now it's just a real standard sort of smiling line. Maybe some dimples just on the end. Like so. And there's a shadow underneath his bottom lip. Just there. His eyebrows then, just up here. So they're downward turning, right? So they're kind of they're kind of crinkly. So you don't have to do them too straight. Kind of turn down like this, and then you just thicken them up. Like so. And the back is thinnest. Like so, and then his other eyebrow. just add some thickness to it I think his forehead should be wider I'm not sure I think that should go around a bit more might have to fix that Hmm. Okay, I'll add a scar. Let's see. Sorry now, but that forehead, might, I might have to fix that. We'll just add the scar. Just like zigzag sort of lines. And like so. Another one here. Like so. Oh, it looks okay. What do you think? I'll add his hair and then we'll see. And there's some details like blood and things on his face here as well. So like there's all this big blob of blood on his face. And then down his eye and everything. And he does have big tears too. But Mostly blood. Some blood coming down here. We'll add some tears. So we'll add like just a little circular shining sort of tear here. Swelling up in the corners of his eye. Right, and then his hair. So spiking coming this way. His forehead doesn't look too bad there. It might need to go out a little bit more that way, but it's not too bad. I think. 
we'll see. Hair spiking out that way. And then we'll go like so. Into there. Out that way. And then another one here. Just round like that. Yeah, do you know, maybe it should be like just a little bit more up. So I'm just going to fix this, right? So all I'm going to do is just do a more sort of curved line here. Just fix that. Just add a spike here. Right, so, and then this line will go down around here. Yeah, it's just a bit wider. All right. So that'll be his hairline, more than like I'll just remove this. Sorry about that. <laughs> we all make mistakes, huh? Okay, I think that looks a bit better. What do you think? So, I think it does. All right, so his hair kind of goes off the top of my page, right? And then it comes back down, like say in here. Like that. If you have more room, you can just bring those to sort of spikes up the top. Just it's cut off by the top of my page. And this curve is round like so. So then for Tanjiro, you have to kind of draw in all these red and black spikes on the inside as well. So like one here. Like so. Here. So it's all red inside here, you know, black and then red. Or that burgundy sort of color for his hair. Another one here, we'll draw them all in, just so it's easier for us to color. And then another one. Goes down like so. And then up again. Like so. And up. There. Like that. This one's real thin. It's like a real thin line. Like so. So we can't really see any of Tanjiro's body, right? We can just see the start of Inosuke's face here and then Nezuko's face down here. So we'll just do Inosuke, right? So side of his face, the big pig sort of head. Right? So curves that way. And the snout comes out here. So this big pig snout bumping. The point for it there. And then it comes around the bottom. Like that. It goes around. And up it has a sort of another edge sort of area here. Two nostrils then, one here, one there, it's black inside, and there's like Blood coming out of his nose. Like 
there's sort of blood stain coming out of this as well. Like that. So can we, what can we see of this snout? So he's got like a tusk here. Texture on it. So then maybe the side of that would be, what, so like his mouth going that way. So then the tusk that way. So it's like his big eye, right? So it's a big sort of curved line here. And then the bottom kind of looks like a big grain of rice or something. Like they're an almond or something like that. And then his circle for his eye, it's not a perfect circle, so it makes it easier for us to draw. And then his pupil. In the middle and he's got these sort of lines going around like that and then there's all this texture inside here like so his other eye we can just see a little bit of it here bulging out the other side of his head and then the iris line is there and some of his pupil here. And like another sort of line coming around there. There. So he has texture lines coming around his eye here. And going around his sort of eyebrow area. And then all fur textures there and then going around his head. So like Zenitsu, Tanjiro's hand is on Inosuke's shoulder, right? So we'll just do the back of his head, these spikes. Like that. And then the ear sticks up here. So pig's ear, up like so. Comes around and then a few hair spikes sticking off like that. The inside of the ear, so you've got to draw that in. So we got like a line like so, curving. And then some hair, just sticking up inside. And some texture on the inside, kind of like that. Some texture on his ear as well. Back of his head, spiking. Like so, and then Tanjiro's hand comes down here. We'll just draw the underneath part. So it's all these zigzags for the bottom of his head. Just going around. And eventually somewhere we'll just go off the page like that. And then there is lots of texture and there's like a splattering of blood and stuff. So. So it's blood all coming out of his mouth. So it like comes, so like down, that way, like that. And then, so we can't really see, so he's like, so the underneath the eyes, so the collarbone is like goes that way. This is like the collarbone of his body. And his chest maybe like here. Collarbone that goes the other way, going off that way. And his body goes behind Nezuko's hair, which is there. Like here somewhere. And then he has some fur on this side of his face sticking off for his cheek and a bit of a tusk sticking up there. So then another hand 
coming across here. If you want, you can, you can leave the hand off and just add more fur and texture and you're, you're done. But I'll add what I can see in the picture for anyone who wants to do it sort of the hard way. So the hand starts here, goes up, fur and knuckle, change direction once. Knuckle, change direction again, and then come around. And so your thumb has two knuckles, one, two. Fingers have three, one, two, three. So we go around, one, two, right, and then fingers. So we go, and now his fingers are kind of broken, right? So I've got these little bumps. So it's not as obvious, the joints. So this kind of comes around here, and then we go in, up for a knuckle. Down like so. And the next finger around. So these knuckles appear to be broken anyway. So you can't really see them. It goes around the top. Up. A little bump there. You can see a knuckle here, and then off the page. And then two fingers in behind. One, two, and then this one, little finger just off my page there. And again, knuckle lines and things, right? So again, optional, just it makes them look more hand-like. My fingernails, big thumbnail there. Fingernail, fingernail here, and then fingernail here, here, and then again, he's got like all this texture and scratches and stuff on his hands. Of course, these are the purple fingers. Okay, so Nezco. So she's kind of boxed in, right? So big eyes and then hair around. So we'll just we'll do her hair. So it comes around this way, right? Her forehead. These sort of zigzag lines. Right? Tied up here. And then top of her head sort of bumps down this way. It goes around under Tanjiro's chin. And then we go down there. And then the side of her hair flows off this way. And she's got this thing in her mouth, right? And it's just these bumps, right? So it goes, you can't see the bottom of it. So it just comes across where her mouth would be. Because she's biting on it. And then side of her head, kind of here. And then her eyes. So top eyelid's real big. Right here, spiky at the end. Comes back up, around and down. They're black inside. And then it's picking up. And there. All right, then her eye underneath. So it's not a perfect circle, it's got these angles in it. Makes it easier for us to draw it. Right? And she doesn't have black pupils. But I'll, I'll draw it in just so we know where it is. They're kind of purple, right? So I'll just draw it in like that. And then her bottom eyelid, thin line just down here. And we've got some eyelashes sticking off. Like that. And the other side, eyelash there, 
thicken it up goes in behind in this case snouts same with her eye really And then iris and our bottom eyelid. Little sort of eyelid lines, or eyelash lines down there. And then we have top eyelid lines just here. And our eyebrows. Curving down, real thin, a little bit thicker, like at the front, like a little bit. So you can just thicken them up a little bit here. Like that. And the collar, Tanjiro's collar there, maybe like some more of his shoulder or something in here. And Nezko's sort of hair lines coming down that way. Oh, that's it. That's how to draw the gang. Tanjiro, Zenitsu, Inosuke, Nezuko. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.